Aha, no intro this time. Today we're gonna go instantly into the video. In fact, instant is the theme of today and you'll see why in just a moment. So about a year in this semi-specialist role, what I've noticed as an endo resonance that it's hard to communicate back the periapical that we took for our final radiograph after a root canal. Back in the day, we would just have a photo film that we develop and the patient can carry it with them along with the notes that we give back to the general dentist. Now these days, digital radiography has made things a lot easier, but in a way, this communication between the specialist and the general practitioner is harder. Now ideally, at some point in the future, we'll have this cloud server that dentists and specialists can relay notes and radiographs amongst electronic health records and be viewed easily, conveniently, cost-effectively, and HIPAA compliant. But we don't have that right now, and we certainly don't have that option at the dental school. What I have here is extremely exciting. Take a look. What I have right here is called Print. That's the company name, that's the name of this case right here. And what this is, is basically makes my phone into an instant photo camera. Just like the Polaroid cameras back in the day. This is kind of a new concept to an old idea. So the great thing about these are that they're small. This is the only one, but this is pretty much the only one that allows you to physically attach to your phone with other software benefits in the app. There's other ones out there that are standalone that don't attach to the phone. But the reason that these printers can be so mobile and cost effective now is actually in the paper itself. There's no ink involved in this contraption. That's why it's, it's portable and it's light. So the great thing about this photo paper, which is called Zinc, which stands for Zero Ink Technology, allows a device just like this to print out multicolored and high resolution photos, which is great for radiographs. So I won't recommend this for any other specialist that needs to send in like an FMX or a PAN, but for a PA, such something that an endodontist would need or endo residents would need to get back to the GP, it's quite handy and it's practical. So let's take a closer look about how this works. So to start, you have a case that's separate from your iPhone. And if you put a side button, that brings up the part that captures the iPhone and you just slide it in. After that, there's a shutter button that you activate to turn on the case. Now the case is sort of a standalone device. It is powered by lithium ion battery, so it does need to be charged on its own. After that, you just have to turn on your iPhone and open the print app. So once you open the print app, you can go to your image library to get into your radiograph. So from there, you'll be given an option to edit, to add text. In this case, I added that this is tooth number 13, RCT to let the general practice know that number 13 was completed. Along those lines, and this is the special part about the software, which may or may not be practical in a clinical sense. Keep in mind, this is a consumer device. What the software allows one to do is you can make a short video that's embedded in a photo. So if you have a case like this, you can scan the photo and view a short video message when it recognizes the picture. So if your general dentist has one, it's a perfect scenario because they can see whatever video content is embedded into the photo. It's kind of cool. It's augmented reality. So what I imagine a specialist could tell the general dentist is that thank you for the referral, those sort of things, or if there's anything particular different in that treatment, they can make a quick statement about it. But again, as far as how practical this embedded secret message is, it's left to be seen, but it's very cool to see it in action. So let's take a look and see it print. So you can see that it prints fairly quickly and there's nice software on the display on the iPhone that helps visualize the development of the printing. You can kind of see the indicator by the digital movement there. So here's an example of one. So pretty cool, right? I think the quality is great. The resolution is resembling the electronic version. You can see all the anatomy and it's very quick, easy to use. So pretty cool, right? The great thing about this is the paper is reasonably priced. And again, you don't need to replenish the ink. You can get another pack of 50 photos for about $25. I think it's convenient. Uh, and 
maybe good good substitute for a photo printer uh, that some people may have or to go through this hard but electronic copy with the CDs and thumb drives. Again, at ideally the best option is to have a cloud-based server to communicate between EHRs, but that's not really available right now. But this is a neat stopgap to wait for that. And it's, it's just a nice gesture for the GP that you care to have a nice printed photo for them to take back. Thank you for watching.